hello. We're gonna take these logs and rip them at the mill. And then I'm gonna build some projects with some dried wood. Let's get ripped. Okay, step number two. We got everything milled at the mill we're milling today. We're in the shop, a little bit messy, but hey, that's how we roll. Okay, now I'm taking a kiln dried piece of walnut and we're gonna build a cutting board. On this board, there's a little bit of end checking. So I'm gonna cut it on my miter saw. I'm gonna keep my hands on either side. This is not a square edge, so I'm gonna clamp it down to make a square cut. So there's some end checking here. So I'm going to put a little bit of a handle. <laughs> Lots of inner fud going on. Okay, my comfort zone is my scroll saw. My old scroll saw blew apart, so I got a new one. It's buried. So I should get out of my comfort zone. One, I could use a jigsaw, which I don't use very often, and it's gonna be a learning curve. Two, I could use our brand new bandsaw, which doesn't have very much play. Like I can't do a round. It's hard to make the turn. So this is my dilemma. These are my power tools buried, and I need them in the warm part. So, I guess I'm digging. Plug it in, see if it works. <laughs> I know, my comfort zone. My inner foot is going off, but hey, that's what I'm doing. Need my glasses so I can see what I'm doing.
sand that puppy off. I'm just gonna do a little bit of trim. That looks better. I'm way happier with that than the jigsaw, so I can work with that. I'm gonna sand it. I might start with this. I might start with 80 grit, work my way down to 220. I'm gonna do the back and the front. I'm not gonna record all of it, because how boring is that? Somebody stepped on this plug. There we go. Clamped it down because there's a lot of vibration. This isn't the strongest. This is a works table, sorry. Works Pekka gas, oh, Pegasus. Okay, I got my works Pegasus table out. It's not the sturdiest. It has some wobble to it. The clamps come with it. And I clamp down my board. I'm gonna use my router. I'm gonna use a very small, round over bit. It's just gonna round the edges so it's not a sharp, it's not a sharp edge. I'm gonna round over this edge and then I'm gonna round over the handle. That's awful, this, this bit is not right. Anyway, okay, well, let's head to the house and finish up the design. Let's get crafty. Dragon's Breath, what is Dragon's Breath? Right. It's magic. When heat activated, it turns into a wood burning. You can use Dragon's Breath, you can use it as paint, you can stipple it on through a stencil, or with stamps, rubber stamps. Today, I'm gonna use a stencil. I'm gonna make this cutting board a little bit more farmhouse-ish. Is that a word? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this cow down in the bottom corner. And here's my dragon's breath. You open it up and it's like a thick jelly. I like to use a stencil brush and I like to use the lid as my palette. Less is more. You put it on the brush and then you stipple most of it off. Stipple is when you pounce up and down. You just pounce up and down. The reason why you stipple and not swirl is because when you swirl, it can either rip your stencil or it can bleed underneath your stencil. So you have to stipple. I'm gonna let this dry for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry and we'll see what happens. Turning up the heat. Okay, 1000 watt. Gonna heat activate my cow. Let's get at it. Okay, I'm done. As it done. 
So, walnut, food grade safe, dragon's breath, food safe, and my new board butter. If you missed how to render your own board butter, check out the video. Woo! Just pops. So satisfying. In the end grain, it really soaks it up. You have to put a lot on the end grain. I made this. I made this. I am so happy. It turned out so farmish. And, okay, my inner FUD was telling me to use my scroll saw, and I did, and it was powerful enough. I'm just gonna buy some bigger blades and stick with what I know, but I do have options of the bandsaw and the jigsaw. But I'm really happy, I'm really happy I redid it. I wasn't happy with my first cut with the jigsaw. I had a lot of vibration and shake. Glad I redid it. I made this, I made this. Woo -woo. Leave a comment down below. Love you, bye.